to my channel. Uh, I want to do a Sephora haul for you guys, uh, which I just received today. This is the box with the items. Um, I basically purchased a lot of stuff because uh, Sephora sent me the VIB 10% off coupon for the month of January, so why not take advantage of it? Um, I want to tell you from the beginning, I'm not going to do any swatches or go into many details in regards to the colors or um, I can't really review anything because I just opened the box so that is gonna be some other time so if anybody is interested in reviews or swatches on the particular items I'm gonna show you guys please comment down below and I will film a whole new video uh, I feel this one is gonna take way too long to swatch everything that I have got so with that said, let's get right into it. So the first um, two items that I reached for are the new um, Soulmates um, from Too Faced. Um, basically, I'm sorry. So basically, these are a uh, bronzer with a blush in. Uh, it's basically believed to be like, you know, they're soulmates. They're bronzer and blush the power couple of beauty so this one is Ross Ross and Rachel and this is more like a pink color and then the second one is Carrie and big and this is more like a coral color uh, I'm just gonna show you one of them to kind of have a better idea of what uh, they look like but like I said no swatches so this is the compact you open it up and the bronzer and then you have the blush with the mirror and this one retails for $34 each um, the next items are from Josie Moran and this is the coconut water uh, coconut watercolor lip stain and shine um, I think there are five or six shades I picked up three they sell for $22 each. The colors I picked up is Berry Bliss, Coral Oasis, and Pink Escape. And just quickly, I want to show you what this is all about. So, excuse me. So, this is how it looks. You got the shine part, you got the stain part. This looks like um, a Sharpie marker. And then this is just a regular doper applicator shine. Um, and as I mentioned, anybody wants watches, please comment down below and I will do my best to do all the swatches for everything, but um, it, it would take way too long for me to do that right now. Next, I got the new um, contour palette from Kat Von D. Uh, this one retails for $46 and it comes with... Um, six colors, three contour shades, and three highlighting shades. Um, also, she came out with a new brush. Um, this is the box of the brush. This is the brush. It's double-ended, highlighting, contouring, highlighting side. And it says here, light shade. Uh, this one retails for $36, and it's basically made for the palette. And you guys could do without, but really nice product if you want to pick it up. Um, moving on from that to um, NARS now. NARS basically came out with a um, little palette. It reminds me of the Urban Decay On The Go palette. This one retails for $59. Um, you take it out. And you, this is how it looks. It's a very sturdy box. So um, if you want to take it on the go, um, I think it will be safe. Um, you open it up. You have a little deluxe size uh, lip shine. Three, uh, eye color. And then you lift little thing up and you got a bronzer and a highlighter which hey if, you know you put it on 
in your purse and it is good for on the go and again um, it retails for $59 so that's a little bit on the pricey side but um, it's in a way more compact and easier to carry around than the Urban Decay. Uh, also I picked up two of the dual intensity uh, eyeshadows which this uh, retails for $29 each. Uh, the shades I picked up is one three, no, 1936 Subra or PB1934. Um, they're basically the burgundy uh, color scheme. Then I also picked up this little Giovanni um, eye face and blush palette. Uh, retails for $39. And this one I wouldn't consider it to be very on the go friendly but it looks really cute to keep it on your vanity and Givenchy it is a luxury brand high end and for $39 I think it's really a good value because most of their stuff like one mascara is $32 so to get uh, a very generous amount like you get as you could tell, the eyeshadow it's split into four, but the face and blush they seem to be very generous in size. Uh, and now let's talk about the new uh, Tom Ford fragrances, um, which retail for one thirty-five each, and they're thirty mil per bottle. Um, looking at the names of this, I really wouldn't expect them to be released in winter. I feel these are more of a summer fragrance, or at least when I look at the names, that is what comes to mind, like uh, summer vacation or something along those lines. But Either way, they are new, I purchased them, and I will use them in summer because uh, I'm pretty sure I haven't opened them to smell, but I'm 100% sure the smells are very sweet and summery, so I'm not even gonna, like, worry about it. Another thing that I picked up is the Obsessive Compulsive um, Stained Gloss. Uh, I think these are deluxe sample size, and you get four different colors. Um, they retail for twenty or twenty-five dollars, but I found them on the sell page uh, with ten dollars, and they are still available if anybody wants to pick them up. They're I don't know. Now that I look at the color, they're not really colors I would normally wear, but hey. It was a good deal, so why not take advantage of Okay, and now the last things that I got, which I'm the most excited about, are the limited edition Fifty Shades of Grey by Makeup Forever kits. And this are it. They come um, in three different sets. It's big set that's given to me and then you've got this is like what's inside this retails for $79 and it's said to have a value of $179 and then the second one is the desire me kit and then this is what comes into um, the kit and this one Retails for $49 with the retail value of $112. And then you got the Tease Me Kit, which comes with this thing. And great, I lost the. This 
retails for $32 with a retail value of $62. And um, you could get it into a... Oh, it's not focused. So there's two color options, nude and berry. Um, and now let's just show you the inside of each one of the kits. So the Give In To Me kit comes with a little pamphlet with different face looks. Oh, you are into those type of things, I'm not. And then you got this keepsake box, which is really cute. It's basically black. It has the Makeup Forever logo on top of it. It's kind of like cushiony on top and then this is how it looks around and here on the blush side of it has like going from the side all around to the other side like movie quote and then you open it up you have makeup forever logo a really nice mirror um, and then you have a little like secret compartment here and underneath this, it's also a box, but this comes with eyeliner, lip shine, lipstick, mascara, and a really nice eyeshadow palette, which has four colors and very generous colors. Um, I purchased it mainly for this particular thing. Of course, once I got it home, I was delighted with everything that's in the box but hey um, for the price I said it's worth it even if, um, I just like the eyeshadow palette um, so this is the big box $79 as I said retail um, then we have the blush thing which is basically Another pamphlet inside the box with the face card type of thing. You get a travel size brush. Then you get three in the three blush palettes. This is how they look. And that's not all. You get a keepsake pouch, which is this thing made out of black velvet thing inside really cute um, and this cost $49 so again I believe it is worth it because um, I don't know the exact price for uh, the blush because um, I have makeup forever eyeshadows but I don't have any blushes or anything. Um, I have some lip shines too but I'm pretty sure um, the blush palette, which is three of them, would cost more than $49 or close to $49. And then the last one is Tease Me. And this is just basically the lip, um, everything lip. So you get in here three full-size products, um, lip liner, lip shine and then dual ended um, waterproof liquid lip color so this is long lasting you put the color first and then you follow with the shine part next and this all three cost $32 they are said to cost $62 of bought individually. Um, I don't know exactly if this are limited edition in color or they are available in the regular line, but you guys can go to Sephora and see uh, what's going on and um, if you could buy them individually. But as I said, I believe this is a really good value for $32. Um, 
the, everything that I mentioned is still available online, so if anything, you know, catch your eye, go and get it sooner than later. Thank you again for watching and hope to hear from, see you guys soon. Have a